The official B Plays Dolly plushie is now available. Head over to bplays.com forward slash plush to get your own dolly today. Link in the description. My name is V and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell. And of course you stack up B when buying Robux or premium. But then you guys, I am going to teach you how to do your quests inside of Campus 3. Everything you need to know about how the quests work, how to do them, how to gain the things for doing them, and how to make sure that you get as many done as possible so that you can do some of these special secret things inside of Campus 3 that require certain quests to do them. So first things first, obviously what you're going to need in order to do this is to have already completed your introduction phase so if you haven't already you need to make sure that you have done all of the enchantraverse section and gone into the front office spoken to poppy and received your journal once you have got your journal which are now called diary planners in case you didn't know already so they're now diaries and not journals because the journal is actually a section inside your diary you're going to open up your diary and as you can see this is where your badges are located and then you're going to go to the planner section of your diary once you're in the planner section, you will see these three quests on the side. Now, if you're new to the game, you probably will only see one. So first things first, let's talk about how you can get more quests to be able to do more things at a time. Because right now, as you can see, I've got three active quests. I've got hair tangles, hog for field trip and texting in class. So if you want me to show you how to do that, I'm going to go ahead and explain that in a second. But obviously, the more you have available at the time, the more you can complete throughout the time that you're playing so that you can do multiple quests rather than just having one and having to keep doing that one over and over again so what you have to do to get more is turn the page and go to your sparkly star of achievements and if you type in quest you will see you've got quest hunter and quest master these are your extra slots so quest hunter you can obtain after you level up 20 times in campus 3 or since campus 3 came out and quest master is when you level up 200 times once you have unlocked both of these awards you will have your second and third quest option alternatively you can actually unlock them by buying them with diamonds instead if you want to now obviously if you pay for them the more expensive higher level ones will probably cost quite a bit but you can do that if you want to now once you have got your quests on the side you will see the quests sometimes come up for you guys with timers and have the same ones come up more than once that's because you can actually do these quests technically speaking an unlimited amount of times so if you go through the quest section to the section at the end that says scholarly stats and scroll down you'll actually find that there is a quest section here somewhere there we go quests it tells you how many you've done out of the 50 possible ones there's 50 possible quests that you can do as you can see i've completed 14 so far and there's a total of 10,000 that you can do over and over again in order to get up to a 10,000 quest badge you can do your quest essentially an unlimited amount of times now i'm assuming in the future the developers will add more quests but right now there's a total of 50 potential quests and sometimes you'll get the same one so for example you might need to brush your hair like if i have right now but then later on maybe tomorrow or later today you might get the brush your hair one again which is totally normal the more you do the more xp you get so as you can see you get xp for completing e each quest so hair tangles is 75 xp honk for field trip is 22 texting in class is 40 and then you have a timer so in case it's a quest that's really hard to do and you can't do it or you just don't want to do that one you can wait for the timer to run out and it will give you a new quest instead if you want to but i'll show you guys what happens when you complete one right now we can't complete these two because they are for later on in the game and those phases aren't out yet but this one here honk for field trip is easy so as you can see it says sneak into the school bus and let the whole school know it's time to go on a field trip so if we walk over to the school bus hop inside and then we need to honk the horn so we'll sit down and honk the horn and as you can see it just pops up quest complete honk for field trip and now i've got a new one called nap time which means it's time to put on your coziest pjs and unwind for a bit and as you can see once you've completed the quest it checks it off and then you get a new one and you gain the xp in your grade level down here for your sparkly star rewards each time you get a gold star you will level up and so on so basically what happens is your quest will reset every time you do one or they'll reset when the time runs out so as you can see because i did that top one earlier it's got a lower time timer than this new one you always get one hour in total to be able to complete a quest before it refreshes to a new one then in addition to your normal student planner quests you also have your new self-care needs here on the right these ones are for you to do various different things like eating 
washing and sleeping. So you've always had your energy one, but you now also have hunger and hygiene. So when you eat certain things, your hunger will go up. And when you wash, your hygiene will go up, like washing your hands, etc. Now, as it currently stands in the game, the phases that obviously have the eating and the washing parts are not out yet. Once they are, you can complete those. And then the energy one obviously will be to sleep, which you can do technically in the other rounds if you go back to your apartments. But in Campus 3, you can't quite do it just yet. And then you have your dailies schedule. Now, this is something you're used to, but with some new things. So first of all, we have tidy textbooks, locker ready to clean. So obviously you're going to be able to clean up your locker. You'll find out more about this when it comes out in the next phase. And then dream fountain adventure ready is obviously to do your fountain. Then student portal login is your daily login and wheel of Davinia is ready to spin. So I'm going to go over here and do my fountain since that one is available. So if we go ahead and wish into the fountain, you guys, and you can skip through. Oops, I accidentally walked away. We'll go ahead and skip through the story the new fountain wishing by the way how cool is this this is so beautiful i love this so much and don't forget by the way guys each time you complete your main quest and get experience every time you level up you'll get diamonds and then obviously there's diamonds spawning around the maps and there will be more ways as well to do diamonds later so obviously if you do your fountain i'm not going to pick like specific answers i'm just going to go through it really quick once you've done that i lost diamonds once you've done it, if you go back into your diary planner, you'll see it now says Dream Fountain Adventure Ready in two hours. So as you can see, it's now reset. So that is how you complete your quest in the game. I don't believe I have a quest completion badge yet. I don't think I've completed enough quests yet to get one. I've only done like 14 total quests. But as you do quests, you will eventually get badges for it, you guys. That say you've completed like, I think it's 100, 250, 1000 and so on. And they will show you that you've completed your quests. So that is how you do quests in Campus 3. They're not quite like the quests that we're used to but you never know maybe npc quests will be introduced again in the future and there are some secret quests such as the one that lets you access the headmistress's office that you have to wait to get and they are rare so you have to keep your eyes out for it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like subscribe and click that bell and you stack up you and buying robux or premium and i'll see you all next time goodbye